Hi YouTubers, it's Frozen Fowler here, or 40 Below Gardening on Facebook. Just thought I'd show you a quick project that I'm working on right now. This is a nice container that I'm repurposed from another project. Uh, we're going to make this into a swirl filter. So far, I've installed this bulkhead fitting at the bottom, connected to three quarter inch piping and a nice ball valve. And up here, we have a nice one inch exit. I just thought I'd show you real quick before we put in the guts of it how I put it together and uh, I'll be right back to show you uh, the insides. Okay so uh, up next here is the insides of the swirl filter. This is all done in three quarter inch PVC. Got a couple elbows there, there. Nice T connection and uh, having them slightly tilted down not much, but just enough to give it that swirl that we're looking for. Um, I did not glue the center pipe uh, to ease and get it in and out of the swirl filter. Okay, next up we'll be installing it into this block of wood. I got this hole a little bit smaller just to help uh, hold up the piping. Um, this hole was already there, kind of big, so uh, this will just help stabilize the whole thing. And we'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, here it is installed. And as you can see, it's uh, about six or eight inches off the bottom of the, uh, of the base of the swirl filter. And we'll connect it up here and hopefully show you, uh, show you how it's working. Alright, so I've had the uh, swirl filter going for about two weeks now and uh, just thought I'd uh, do a quick show of what we got here. I empty it about once a week, not empty it, but uh, just turn it on and uh, let it clean up. So let's take a look. If you can quite make that out, but there's plenty of uh, plenty of sediment in there, and uh, that's pretty much it for maintaining it. And uh, it just uh, refills and it's, it goes right down into the tank. So uh, seems to be working quite well. All right, take care.